So my name's James Bentley, I'm a director of Paradigm Developments from York. We've been established for around uh, 12 years. We're based um, in the York area, but we do work all over the country. Um, and we specialise in doing jobs that other people don't really ever want to do. So we work on listed buildings, awkward buildings, uh, renovations, refurbs, new builds, everything really. Um, from a light bulb to a full refurb, um, in, you know, like, like a turnkey solution, you know. I went along to the listed building show and I'd wandered around and came across um, your colleagues. Um, I wasn't sure what these beehive things were that were hanging from the ceiling, so I asked what these things were. It turned out that's what um, that's what they did. They were a damp remedial system, and um, so I I brought some catalogues away from the show, gave them to our client, they contacted you direct, and um, that's where we've gone from up till today. What were your first thoughts when you saw the system? First thoughts when I saw them, um, I thought the brochure looked very good, some very nice European buildings on there. Um, the um, apartment building in Budapest, I think, is on the back of there, is one of your, uh, one of your jobs. So I thought, you know, it looks good. Not too sure if I understand the science behind it, but it obviously works. Um, so, like I said, this was a really tricky, pro tricky property to um, alleviate the damp issues. So this is why I gave the client the brochure, and he obviously thought it was a good idea. But at first, everyone I've spoken to were very sceptical. Didn't understand it, didn't understand how this beehive shape thing could actually do any good. <laughs> uh, which I imagine that's what most people say. Did you notice yourself uh, any, any changes during this past five months? The only thing we did, we did notice, we put datum lines around the walls um, in sort of a chalk. Or a, or a pen, I can't remember what they were. And these datum lines, after the installation, started to run down the wall, as if the damp in the wall, where, where the datum line was on, was, was going down. So that's the only thing we've really noticed, other than the walls seem to be, seem to be pretty dry, you know, when we're drilling into them. And we've done everything we can as a builder to alleviate the problems. And where we've built new walls, everything's obviously got damp proof membranes in. Um, but just for the external, well, and the internal walls, everything that goes down through the, onto the f foundations, not this building has foundations, it's so old, it's just on huge, huge, huge pieces of stuff. Um, so we've done everything we can, and there wasn't really a lot else we could do. Um, trying to inject these walls would have been a disaster because the, the, there's no courses to the stonework, huge cavities and pockets everywhere. Um, and obviously no original damp, damp membrane at all. But other than that, um, any anything we've noticed? No, just just the lack of damp now. Really. Did you uh, did you ask for a quotation regarding the chemical? So I don't didn't even go there. Um, we didn't even I didn't even really bother with a, a price of the chemical. I mean, we could have done you know the the plastic that you put on the walls, wrapping around. We fitted that before. Like, like a tanking system, it's very laborious, it takes ages to fit. You can't pierce it at all, you know, if you want to hang something on this wall, as soon as you pierce that membrane then you've got an issue. So from a practicality point of view, from a usability point of view, those systems aren't particularly brilliant, and they take a long time to fit, and they're very expensive. So um, we never even got a quote for anything chemical wise. Mm -hmm. If you would went down on a tanking system, the same you described mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. do you have just a rough idea in terms of price, what, 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 what would have cost for a cottage oh, of this size? I have no qualms that it would have been 10, 15,000 pounds, I thought, for the kit. And then we've got to install it. So it's quite a quite pricey, pricey thing to do. We could have gone down sand and cement route, you know, sand and cement rendering. But again, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of, lot of material to put on by hand, so again, very labour intensive. And again, if you pierce it with sockets, you know, cutting out for round sockets and things, then you have issues around those, those areas where damp can come back. <coughs> Thank you very much.